I'm his eyes, I'm his ears. Um, he's, he's my soulmate. <laughs> I'm Eric, and this is Yaku's story for GeoBeats. He's deaf and blind. He can see only shadows, although it's very interesting. If I clap, he can actually hear me. I don't know if it's the vibration of my clap. You see that? And when we sneeze, we spray. <gasps> so that's why he smells, probably. When we first adopt him, they say you can't do too much with him. He has to stay in the house all the time. We did it for a couple of weeks, but at the same time, I was like, I want a dog that can enjoy life. I want a dog that is able to run, to smell, and to get to know other dogs. And so I started reading a lot about deaf people and how they communicate. So I'm applying what they do to him. So I wake up Yaku, who is blind and deaf, without him getting scared. So what I do, I touch his ear twice, followed by a second command. I touch a lot of parts of his body, his paws, his ears. He knows right now 25 words. Smell. Now you're gonna go fine. When he wants to eat, he either is by his ball or he comes to me and he starts pushing me on my right ribs. Good boy. We as humans have to figure out what they want to tell us. If he wants to go, he can touch the bell that I have in the back door. I never had an accident with him inside the house except for the first day we adopt him. He is actually very, very smart. I'm very surprised. Two years ago, I lost my two dogs, one 14 and one 15 years. I felt like I was something missing in my life. I found this website that rescued dogs with special needs. I just saw his picture and I said, that's my dog. There was something about him when I saw him. We flew from San Francisco to Florida to get him. When I first met him, I don't know why, I just started crying. It was overwhelming. But I didn't take him that day. I wanted him to say, okay, I choose you. The next day, I spent a couple hours with him playing, getting to know him. And he came to me and he just lay down next to me and I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> and, I, and I say, yeah. He wants me, and I want him, so let's go home. We drove for two weeks back to California. He was born blind and deaf due to bad breathing. Come on. Good boy. A lot of people want specific dogs, certain characteristics, but when they mix two dogs with the same gene, same DNA, we get dogs like Yakut and they don't want them anymore. They abandon them. I wanted to know more about his story. So we contact his first vet and she told us that a woman dropped him and his brother at this vet clinic. She took care of him and then she contacted this agency. A lot of people don't want to adopt them because they think dogs like him are not smart. I think Yaku is proven as the opposite. We need to educate ourselves so dogs like him can find a good home. He loves to cuddle. He's always wants to be next to me. He needs to make sure he's always touching me. I'm so happy and that he chose me to be his dad.